Alright guys, we will start from Steel Water Bay. Probably my least favorite map, but in terms of movement, jumps and hiding spots, it's probably the best one so far. The plan for the day is kinda simple. I'm gonna show you some jumps and vaults that I found by myself, but also uh, we will improve some well-known and uh, good old jumps. Let's start from this one and first of all make sure to break glass over here to do it properly. Then you want to stuck in this corner. Just shift, jump, shift, jump <laughs> and you are on a barrel. I've seen some people do this jump like this but actually you can just crouch here and uh, aim somewhere in this area and well. so uh, then you just go to the beam jump and you're inside easy easy to do and let's go to the next location jump on a lumber is kind of specific and even tricky it's not really a jump more like an angle so, you want to jump on this hook, find the elevation spot, right, like this, see? So from this angle you can control pretty much everything that you need. From this bridge, if you have a sniper rifle, not a lens. But uh, you can actually see a Daryl. So, I hope <laughs> I'm not gonna see someone kill me from this spot, but it is what it is. Kinda useful if you want to defend the location and you have a sniper rifle to do. Let's go further. further. Very good. This is probably my favorite compound on the map, and I can actually make an hour long video talking about jumps, bolts, and angles on this one. But today I'm gonna show you only one. And it's probably my favorite one of all of them because it is funny and it is so satisfying when it's working. So we are gonna push this little house right there. But we will do it from the funny angle. I'll say, I'll say. So you're here, jump. on the second floor <laughs> it is kind of funny and, and again risky as hell but now we have two weather conditions it's dusty storm and rainy rain rain storm heavy, heavy rain and when it's raining outside it is kind of hard to hear you coming but if you have a choke pump you can actually time it you can toss it like right here and then just move around, wait for a little bit, and time. Yeah, this is probably my favorite one jump and spot so far. When it's working, it is so satisfying. Especially if you're pushing with the shotgun or bomb lens. Let's go. And we slowly but surely moving towards my favorite jumps at this map. But on the roll, I will show you two of this. So, it is kind of often that enemies put traps like this and like this. But if you want to enter the location, you can do it like this and walk. It is simple way to enter the location. It is safer than jump through the window if there is a traps. You can actually avoid it. But yet it is exposed because of windows, so make sure to check for moving. And uh, it could be a good transposition for this jump. Open, open. For this jump, I said, I call it. Nice. Uh, so it could be a good transposition for this jump. You can use it in your game. Very easy. Though. And the, sec uh, the 
the second one is in this area and it is faster and easier way to push the side than a vault from the car if you shoot the guy in this area for the window and you want to finish him you can go to these boxes jump make sure to move some to make some steps because in other cases game not allow you to jump that further and then bolt here and jump it is easy way to enter the site and uh, speaking about this card vault it is kind of shaky and it would be hard to perform sometimes because you have to find an elevation spot and then bolt and actually you can Bolt on this roof right here, but it's kind of hard to perform. Room. It's not that good. It's not that good. But yet, it is better. Let's go first. Alice Farm. This is probably my second favorite location on the map after four. In terms of jumps and bolts. And we will stuck here for a while, but it is worth it, trust. So, let's start from this easy path on the roof. You can use this wood planks to jump like this. But, sometimes you will descend, which is happen quite frequently in the game. But, how can I use these planks if I fell off? Well, let me show you. I got you home. Go to this corner, find yourself at the elevation spot. See? And then press shift and jump. Ta Tada! You're safe. It's actually good to know this spot because sometimes you want to escape the compound or you want weak rotation. Or again, you can go to the roof from this spot and use these wooden planks. The next jump right here and as well as uh, the previous one, the better one, it is handmade by me. You you heard that a lot today. So it is not that easy to perform on live servers because of pink issues and desync issues. But if you get it, you get it. Again, good way to push the compound and easy way to hop on the roof. As soon as you're on the roof, you can line yourself with this metal line over here and hug the wall and get inside the building. It is easy way to rotate around the compound and good way to update your end. Well, let's go further. There is one more jump on the roof and uh, it's not legal jump and I'm gonna show some of these illegal jumps just for educational purposes and I hope that Crytek will fix it someday but it is in the game right now so you can use it if you want but I urge not to do it so if you shot the guy behind the tree you can simply escape fall damage <coughs> if you push, push and jump like this so, again, isn't legal, do not use it. Let's go to the next. This one used to be good with old light foot, uh, and now it's not that efficient, but you can use it anyway. So, you can jump on this metal thing, then jump on a the fence, jump on this foot plank, and you're inside. It's not that good with new light foot, but Yet again, you can still use it just to rotate around the compound. Let's go further. The next one is not really a jump, it's more like a good off angle to control people who want to push you from this direction. So, again, you have to find an elevation spot, jump and you have an off angle 
if you are a headsman or just another dark skin, it is even easier to surprise your enemies and just climb in the both ways if you want. Good to know, good to know. I have a bunch of those kind of spots and cracks uh, on this compound specifically and on the others, but it is probably in another video that it require like one hour long video. So I don't want to overload this one. Uh, by the way, for some reason you can jump from this uh, specific spot. You cannot do it from other side. But yet again, good to know if you want to push someone over here. Let's go to the next location. The one thing that I want to show you a lot way, and it's like an obvious jump. But again, never seen someone die. So if you vault up here, you have a good angle to defend logway from this. Pretty much, you can control everything from this direction. Again, simple, obvious, and very easy. Let's go to the next location. The worst location on the map, and it is ugly, and no one likes it. But I want to show one vault. <laughs> Obviously, you can vault right here to avoid traps and appreciate the legacy of the hunt. But it's not the one that I want to show. And this vault is well known. Uh, you have to destroy this lantern before you do it, but it is easy and very useful. By the way, there is a cracks that through these cracks you can see the inside. Of the building. Very useful, very quick. Let's go further. This move on a catfish is again well known, but I see people struggling to perform it consistently. All you have to do to avoid this ladder, this annoying ladder over here, is just run, twist your wrist left and then right. Even if, if you have light foot uh, and you can use ladder safely, in my opinion, it is a better way to climb over here and uh, use this beam. It is much faster and safer. So, all you have to do is just left, right, and that's it. You're good. Let's go to the next position. Big <coughs> jump on the slaughtery is just. Stylish way to outplay your opponents. And first of all, I'm gonna show you how to climb on this roof like right here consistently. All you have to do is just line up this tree and this piece of wood over here, and then aim somewhere above this branch. And then just uh, go and press your vault key. And it is working 100% of the time, and you can do it fast but it's not the one that I want to show you actually you can enter the building from this spot from this window you can see it right all you have to do is just jump and you're inside so as I said it's just a cool way to outplay your opponents and uh, it's not really that useful but again if you master it it could be a good clip I failed, but <laughs> you're not that bad as me, right? Let's go to the next location. Uh, it's poor in terms of movement, and uh, you can vault on the roof or just do some fancy stuff over here. But there is one jump that I want to show you. So, mention this situation 1v1, guy in this building, you shot him, but you can't really push him from this door. Because he has some powerful weapon, shotgun or whatever. Uh, but you want to do it anyway. I recommend you try this one. Jump. And jump again. It is a risky one. Mostly because of this crack over here. But if you are a risk taker, you can try to do it. Anyway. Let's go to the next location. 
All right, guys, we will finish our journey on this map with the Devon Trench angle. So, it is quite common to face people if you respawn over here, and there is almost always one guy who climb up this roof just to control this area, and it is good angle in general. But you can counter this guy by using this. Beams. You can see pretty much everything you need to, uh, and it is hard to see you there, especially if you have like dark skin, like Hetzman, obviously. But if you're afraid of a sniper rifle, you can use this crack. But it is much, much harder to kill the guy from this spot. So, I uh, guess that's it for the map. Obviously, it's not all jumps and bolts that I know, but I don't want to overload this video. And I see you guys on a lot loss on that. No, good luck, good luck. We are at the docks at the Lawson Delta. This is probably my best map and favorite one. And let's start from this little jump. You all know that you can do this rotation up right here, but you can do the same jump on the opposite side. Like this. It could be useful to outplay your opponent. Yeah, just another funny way to move. The second one is this one. You can have a good angle on the door. This is just more like an unexpected angle. <laughs> it's not really good or whatever. And for this door as well. Also, I want to mention that sometimes there is toolbox or ammo box or maybe cash machine that allows you to jump on it and vault on it. And the last thing that I want to show you, it's not that useful, but it is just another funny way to hop on the roof. For some reason there is an invisible texture that you can use. And you can jump on it. So basically I can make no sound. That's it, that's it. Let's go to the blank. At the blank, let's start from this little vault right here. So, uh, if you want to defend, if you want to defend location and maybe you have a sniper rifle, it could be pretty useful for you to know that angle. Next two things that I want to show you, they basically at the same place and they serve the same purpose. First of all, make sure to break this lantern, and you can bolt. And the second one is more useful. You can jump on this box, but make sure to just step on it and wait for a split of a second. And you can jump like this. Because if you just make double jump, game not allow you to do it. And the last thing... Hey, we all know about this vault, so we all know that you can climb on the roof right here, but also you can do it on the opposite side, right there. It could be useful in some scenarios, so make sure to remember this one. This is probably my favorite compound on the map, and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks and jumps on it. First of all, just a small tip, you can climb up here. And uh, Let's start from this one. You can run on top of the wall using this dirt right here. Like this. It is kinda good way to outplay your opponent if you shot the guy right here maybe, or you just want to make a quick rotation and maybe pick guys right here, it could be useful. The second jump will help us to push this building, the main one. 
all you have to do is just jump, jump on the searchlight and you have an insanely good angle for those who play inside. Especially if you have shotgun, you just can one shot the guy right here with no problem. Most of the time your opponent's not gonna be ready for this type of shit, so feel free to use it. Next one is more like a tip. We all know how painful it is to push post office because you can't use this direction actually. Most of the time there is bear traps or maybe even trip mines and most of the time if you took the trap you could be instantly dead. But you can actually avoid this situation by using this little trick. You wanna jump on this card, jump on the window and then jump again. It allows you to avoid all the traps that are placed un under the window. Next one is a tip also. I believe all of you seen <laughs> Rakhtas clip when he jumped like a ninja and slice everyone using his katana but actually he made a mistake in this clip because you can jump like this and you took the damage right but if you aim like here you can avoid all the fall damage at all it is matter because if you have a light foot, it will allow you to do a silent rotation around the tower and outplay your opponent. The Arden jumps. I'm not quite sure that I'm. Like I can show you this, and they are definitely illegal to do, but I don't, don't think it is bannable or whatever. Uh, and I hope that Crytek will fix it eventually, someday, and that is why I am showing this. So, first of all, you want to appreciate the democracy, jump on the pole, and then you want to jump on the fence, like this. And you <laughs> successfully avoid all the fall damage and made the rotation in two seconds. The second one is not that serious, it's not a game changer, I think, so you can use it anytime you want, I guess. Uh, so if you <coughs> jump like this, you took a lot of fall damage, but if you jump on this backs right here, you will took zero. I think you can use it anytime you want, so <laughs> feel free to do it. Speaking of mm, illegal jumps, let me show you another one on the fourth karmic, and again, <laughs> just in educational purposes. So, if you hit this side of the beam, you took zero fall damage. But again, this jump is for the bad guys. Let me show you something for the good boys, like me and you, right? If you want to avoid this awkward ladder, because it's probably the worst ladder on the map, you're always gonna be dead there, you can do jump right here. It is much safer way to climb on the roof, and if you have light foot you can try to even outplay your opponent, but with a new light foot it is much harder, but well, <laughs> you can try. You can try. Uh, I kind of missed out on this world right here while recording previous time, and while editing, I thought hmm, maybe someone doesn't know how to do it consistently. So. I'm gonna show you how to do it. Maybe you're trying to do it like this, or maybe on this spot. 
but actually everything is much simpler. All you have to do is just make this like, curve trajectory and then vault looking somewhere at this area. So. That's it. That is kinda easy and consistent. But you can actually uh, enter this window from this roof. In case you don't know. Arsenal, I want to show you one trick that could help you to outplay your opponents. I, again, never ever seen someone die. Feel free to use it. It will be unexpectable 100% of the times. So, you can stack yourself at this corner. Stack yourself at this corner. <laughs> Uh, then aim somewhere in this area because we don't want to jump over the fence and then vault again. If you have light foot, it will be much, much easier to do. And you can surprise your opponents who are uh, holding these angles, maybe they hold in the door. So feel free to use it. There is actually. Another piece of movement that I can show you, but it is inconsistent. I don't know the lineup, but I know definitely, definitely know that you can vault up here. I've done it once and then spent like an hour trying and without any results. So if you can find the lineup, well, let me know. Let me know. There is not that much movement on the iron work. Uh, first of all, I just want you to know that it is possible to vault here in this area. But, but again, I just done it once and then can prove it. It's not that useful, that is why I gave up on it. But which is useful. Uh, this box is away. If you want to outplay your opponents on the opposite side of the building, you can vault like this. And you can jump on this roof, but it is for the angle, not for the movement of our place. If you have sniper rifle, like Sparks, and maybe Molson, you can basically control whole road by using these cracks. It is impossible to see you there and uh, it could bring you some close. Hammer. There is two things here that I want to show you and first one it is a lineup to do this well-known window jump consistently. It's not 100% of accuracy because sometimes it is just a gamble if games allows you to stay on these wooden planks or not. But if you line up yourself like this, th this bottle of rum or whatever it is, you can run and then press forward. Yeah, it's not a guarantee jump again, but uh, it will increase your chances by a lot. And the second one is lo located on these bricks, on these ruins. We're gonna do some rock climbing stuff. To jump on top of the ruins. And from this angle, unfortunately, I couldn't find a sniper rifle, but I think you can see that there is a window on the opposite side and you can actually see pretty much everything and everyone who is trying to peek from that window. It could be useful if you have a sniper rifle or just good moles and maybe even filled with the high velocity, so feel free to use it.
And the last location for the map is Soldier's Park. In case you don't know, if you kill the guy or just shot the guy in this little window, you can continue your push like this. It is a quick way to climb on the roof. And if you don't want to continue your push, you can just control the body through this crack. That's kind of useful. And I guess that's it for the map and for this location. So, like a little bonus, I can show you how to climb on this roof two different ways. We all know that you can do it using these gates, just jump, jump. But I'm gonna show you two other ways. You can jump on this box and aim somewhere in this area. Just press your bolt key. And the second one is not that good. That is just for those nerds who want to know everything. Yeah, that's the way we remove it. <laughs> so, thank you very much, and I'll see you on the next map. Alright guys, we on the last map so far and we are at the bottom of the map on the cell and I'm gonna show you two distance jumps here. The first one is kinda simple and uh, easy to perform but yet good to know. If you want to avoid ladder sound right here you can simply go there and then We want to avoid ladders <laughs> as much as possible because they have some specific sounds and this vault is much better than a ladder. The second one is kinda obvious in my opinion, but uh, again, never seen someone done it. So it's so common to fight with someone up here on this roof and if you shot the guy and want to him finish him while well, he's healing somewhere here, you can simply jump like this. It is much faster than this path and uh, it is kind of unexpected. So feel free to use it in your games. All jumps on a Reef's Quarry are kind of well known I guess. And I don't want to show you something like three ways to jump into this window type of stuff, uh, but I wanna show you one jump that I use kinda <coughs> often because sometimes there is a clue and uh, you want to avoid this long path and just jump like this. Pretty simple, pretty easy to do and very useful. On the Darren shipyard uh, I wanna show you only one jump actually because, you know, <laughs> Crytek learned from their mistakes and their previous lessons and they put invisible walls everywhere and not that many spots and movement opportunities on this map but there is one that could be useful and you can use it kind of often. jump like this It is good to know in case you want to push someone up here and you don't want to use this window or so let's go to the fort Fort Bowden is basically hold the angle simulator and it could be very rewarding if you are playing aggressively and I'm gonna show you two moves that could help you so the first one is this vault in a window, you jump on a pole, press your shift, uh, aim somewhere in this area and then pole. It is easy to do but yet it's kinda unexpected way to enter the building and it could be very rewarding. The second one, 
in reverse if you want to push guys over here you can do it like this so if you shot someone over here and you want to finish him it's good way to There are two things that I want to show you on Seven Sisters. One is for everyday users, and the second one just for fun. So, we all know that it is kind of dangerous and awkward to enter the compound from this direction using these gates because obviously enemies can see you. But you can avoid it if you go to this spot, just run, and then jump. It is easy to do and uh, could be very useful. <gasps> hey guys, do you remember the building from Slaughterhouse? So it is back, it is back. We can vault up here and to do it properly uh, and consistently, you, all you have to do is just stand on this emblem, uh, aim somewhere at this area and vault. So it is again easy to do and kind of consistent. It's not that powerful like the previous one but yet it could be very useful if you want to have an unexpected angle on three guys or maybe just want to have some fun and jump around the compound. So let's go to the next location. On the prison, I want to show you two jumps. One of those jumps, I guess, in gray area. I don't know if it's playable or not. And as I said, I'm showing these jumps in hope that someday Crytek will fix it. By the way, you can have a good angle here. Um, so. The jump is kind of simple if you want to do a quick rotation from the top of the tower. Sometimes there is a clue and you don't want to run all the way down. You can simply just jump like this. And obviously you can jump on this balcony but you will took damage. So let's go to the next. If you are fighting with guys below you inside the boss layer and you want to try catch him or them off guard, you can do this jump. But it's kind of risky one, but uh, there are a lot of good angles from this spot, so you can try to use it. And uh, by the way, I'm not gonna show you how to perform a window jump because. It is, you know, easy. Everyone know how to do it. There are surprisingly very few things on a stone mill. And I'm gonna show you again something in a grey area. So, if you want to do a quick rotation from, from the tower, you can simply just do it like this. But again, I, I don't recommend you. I don't recommend to do it because it is kind of questionable. So let's go. To, let's go further. There are a couple of moves on the church that I want to show you. First one and the most useful one is this card jump. It saves a lot of games for me because if you shot the guy from here somewhere. And you know he's gonna heal somewhere over here and you have a shotgun maybe. You can just easily finish the guy. And I wanna show you a couple of bolts which could be useful. And uh, the first one is right here. You can jump and vault on a bush. It is working the same way right there. And the best one of those three is this. Jump and jump. It is kind of ratty and sneaky angle and it is hard to see you there, especially if you have a good skin. Huh? Feel free to use it. 
Thumber is way better than Upper Dessal. And there is one trick that I want to show you. It's not really a trick, just a funny way to enter the building. Obviously I can show you this <laughs> jump from boxes to the window, but instead uh, I'll show this one. So you actually can vault on this pole. All you have to do is just line up these hooks like this. So the left side of a ladder covered by these hooks, then aim somewhere in this area and vault. Uh, again, it works pretty consistently and if you want to avoid this long long ladder uh, and which is more importantly avoid ladder sound you can do it this way then jump and it is good to combine with the window jump right here just to avoid this awkward crouch so and the next it's not really a jump it's more like a small tip if you want to do a quick rotation from up here to down below, you can do it like this. No fall damage at all. As you can see, we skipped Moses mostly because I don't know nothing in terms of movement, uh, which is outside of a standard of jumps. I know only interesting angles, but in terms of movement, eh, nothing. And the kings. Uh, mine, I want to show you this vault, which is useful if you fight the guy on the rocks and you want to avoid this awkward and well known path. And the second one is right here. This jump is for everyday uses, not for specific situations. You can simply suck. Oh. You can simply just run. Stuck. Jump again. It will save you sometimes, uh, maybe a couple of seconds. Not that necessary, but uh, it is good to know because from time to time there is a guys and they push in from these directions, and you want to surprise them from a different and unexpected angle. On a heritage pork, there is only one thing that I want to show you because Crytek doesn't want us on this roof for some reason. You can climb on it. So, if you want to do a quick rotation from this connector to the down below to the bottom, you can just do it. Use the <coughs> You'll took some damage from time to time, you can avoid it if you jump over here I believe but uh, it's not that necessary if you just wanna run and wanna go further from this clue for example so that's it for this location I guess there is nothing fancy left that I know of so let's go to the our last location I wish I can show you something fascinating and gorgeous at the end of the video but <laughs> these words uh, are not suitable for the sal in general and uh, this location plantation in particular so the first one is this vault right here if you fight with the guys uh, in a guard in the yard you can just i'll play them by using this vault. It is kinda dangerous, but it is an expected angle. Next thing is this jump, which could be useful if you want to push the building or just in case that door is stuck. It closed. I don't, I don't think. It, sh it could be closed, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'm not 100%. So, and the last one, the last thing that I want to show you is probably well known, it's not really a jump, it's more like a hiding spot or unexpected angle. So if you want to surprise your opponents, you can simply hide there and wait for them to come. To come? Yes, yes, yes. All right.
Alright guys, I think that's it for the map and for the video. Thank you very much if you stayed till the end with me and let me know down below in the comments if you learned something today and also if you want me to make a video dedicated to some interesting angles and maybe some grenade lineups, why not? So thank you very much again. And I see you on the opposite side of the scope. <laughs> bye bye. <coughs> 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 <coughs>